Hi guys, Baptiste here, and today I'm going to show you how to embed a carousel on your homepage in order to drive traffic to your product pages. So you can choose a full screen carousel offering an immersive experience to your visitors. Um, if you want it a bit less visible or less immersive, you can go for inline. Okay, let's go with a full screen carousel for this example. Here you can select regular because bulk is only useful for product pages. And you can import videos for, from various sources. I'm just going to take a couple of examples from my library here. Great. I'm going to import these six videos and click on Next Steps. On the videos contained in your carousel, you can add elements, modify the thumbnail, or add text on top of the thumbnail. So you can click um, any video you want to modify. Let's go with this one, the third one. And here I can uh, tag products on top of the videos. Um, I can add links, coupon codes of email collector. Uh, in this case, I won't be adding anything yet. Um, I'm going to add a, a thumbnail. And I am going to set it to 32 pixel and put it at the bottom of the video in red. Okay. Then you can go ahead with the general player settings here. And uh, if you want to switch back to an inline carousel, you can just click here. Uh, otherwise, you can go ahead and modify the buttons of um, and the, the look and feel of this carousel so it fits your website layout. Um, and if you want the side arrows, um, you can just untoggle this button uh, and choose the, the, the side arrows you prefer. Um, and uh, you can also adjust a couple of things on the player settings here. Okay, my carousel is done. I'm going to click Next Step now, um, and this will be my carousel home page and I can copy this code. Once this embed code is copied, you can go and paste it on the editor of your website. Make sure you're on, you're on the home page and please note that I'm, I am doing this on Shopify for the sake of this example, but you can do the same on any website editor. So you can add a section. On Shopify, you have a special uh, widget uh, section you can add. And on other websites editor, you can just use an HTML or custom liquid uh, or custom block. So I'm just going to add a custom liquid here and paste um, the embed code I copied previously and my carousel will show right away uh, on my homepage. I can then save it. And this is the live version of my website. Um, so it's a fully responsive carousel that will open full screen, but you can always adjust it and have an inline carousel uh, without having to re-embed the code. Uh, and on mobile, it's obviously fully responsive and adapts to the dimensions of your visitor screens. Oh, and one last information. You can then head back to your widget account. You can go back to the campaign manager and uh, your campaign will show at the bottom of the list. Uh, I strongly advise to tag some products on videos. Um, so you can just go to appearance and here uh, add an element. As I can see here, there is no element tagged. So you go here, you activate this toggle button, and you add some products here, right? I strongly advise to do it in order to redirect traffic from your homepage to your PDPs, your product pages.